In a world enamored with success, pride often takes the lead, blinding us to our own imperfections. It has two sides, one guided by humility and the other driven by arrogance. This is pride's double-edged sword, while a potential ladder to the stars can also dig a pit of isolation and error. Now let's hear great-minded people's thoughts regarding pride. There are two kinds of pride, both good and bad. Good pride represents our dignity and self-respect. Bad pride is the deadly sin of superiority that reeks of conceit and arrogance. As long as you are proud, you cannot know God. A proud man is always looking down on things and people. And of course, as long as you are looking down, you cannot see something that is above you. Now it is unwise to be too sure of one's own wisdom. It is healthy to be reminded that the strongest might weaken and the wisest might err. Pride gets no pleasure out of having something, only out of having more of it than the next man. It is the comparison that makes you proud, the pleasure of being above the rest. Once the element of competition is gone, pride is gone. It is pride, the wish to be richer than some other rich man, and still more, the wish for power. For of course, power is what pride really enjoys. There is nothing make a man feel so superior to others as being able to move them about like toy soldiers. Mighty pride is competitive by its very nature. That is why it goes on and on. If I am a proud man, then as long as there is one man in the whole world more powerful or richer or cleverer than I, he is my rival and my enemy. Mind it is pride which has been the chief cause of misery in every nation and every family since the world began. Other vices may sometimes bring people together. You may find good fellowship and jokes and friendliness among drunken people or unchaste people, but pride always means enmity. It is enmity. Pride is at the bottom of all great mistakes. For pride is spiritual cancer. It eats up the very possibility of love or contentment or even common sense. Pride may be allowed to this or that degree, else a man cannot keep up his dignity. Some ask if lowering one's pride is conceding defeat. I think not. Humility is a sign of inner strength and wisdom. Teach self-denial and make its practice pleasure. And you can create for the world a destiny more sublime than ever issued from the brain of the wildest dreamer. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Bride must die in you or nothing of heaven can live in you. Humility is the ability to give up your pride and still retain your dignity. Never look down on anybody unless you're helping them up.